Hello boys and girls. Okay, I'm going to do a quick video with relation to resource scheduling. Okay, uh, for those in class, we did an activity last week. It was a simple bar chart, just to understand a Gantt chart and a critical path. And we've had our simple activities for a house, only 16 to keep it nice and simple to understand. But with that, so we've planned the job and we know how many days it's going to take. The thing is we need to organize our labor and materials and our plant and equipment. Now for that, we can do some simple resource scheduling. Any way you can do it, but I'm going to keep it nice and simple as if it's handwritten or just with a Word document. What I'm going to start with is our list needs to have our preliminary items organized. Okay, so that would include all contract documentation finalized and approved and also organizing certifier and en engineer to assist with the the site second stage will be site setup that'll include getting your fencing your toilets your site sheds power your water and so forth then once we're on the job okay that's going to be included within the site setup Get the surveyor or builder to set the job out, including materials you have to organise for your profiles, your paint, your string lines, nails and so forth. Okay. Once we've got that ready, then we can look within our program. We've got an excavator. Subcontractors organise, they probably organise their own plant that needs to be discussed and organised. That'll include excavator, dozers or backhoes or bogey or tippers. Okay. Services, we will have subcontractors such as your electricians and your hydraulics or your plumbers. So they will be needing excavation, they'll need their materials for their sewers, their stormwater and drainage and any electrical mains. We may have to have a builder to assist on site. Then we can look at concreter for the slab. That could be subcontract, that could include your formwork and your concrete. That needs to be finalised before we start the job. You may have to organise supplies for your reinforced bar. Okay. Now keep in mind, there's other items here, but we're just keeping it simple so they understand the process. That would be like termi mesh and so forth, the termite proofing. Then we're going on to wall frames and trusses. So you would more than likely contract a carpenter to do that job. So they would supply their materials. Oh, sorry, their, their tools to do the job. But you would have to possibly employ a supplier to do to prefab the wall frames and trusses uh, but you will also maybe have to look at getting some mobile scaffold for your carpentry uh, to you know have a safe access windows and doors you will need some lead time in that so suppliers for materials you possibly get the carpenter to install services so rough in that includes a subcontractor that would be your plumber uh, and your hydraulics, sorry, your uh, electrician to supply and install. Cladding, supply to contract, so you have to organise for materials. Uh, carpentry could be included in the contract. Roof sheeting, subcontract. Garage door, subcontract to supply and install. Services as per above for their fit off, so they would have to have that included in the contract. And then just finishing off with your landscape and then you'll need to sort out your documentation, your warranties to complete the job. Okay, so what I've done is I've just shown as a simple example for simple resource scheduling. And in another note with that is not only do you, you have this list, it could be a Word document, it could be part of some software package that's quite advanced. But with that, then you need to uh, allocate times of when it needs to be organised. For example... Your windows and doors, windows may have six weeks lead time. So you can say on the 13th day is when they're to be fit, but you may have to order those well in advance before the job starts. Once, As soon as a contract's signed, you would have to order them. All right. I hope that helps. Thanks, everyone.